Hello and welcome to my review video of my favorite read cases to recommend, Cases by Florida Reads. <laughs> I really love these cases because they're durable, they're beautiful, they're vented properly, and they hold as many reads as you could possibly need. Florida Reads now offers cases made specially for bassoon, oboe, and clarinet and saxophone reads, which I am going to show you today. A few disclaimers before we continue. First, there have been significant upgrades over the years based on customer feedback, which I'll show you in this video. Second, these cases are fully customizable when it comes to colors for both the outside of the case and the actual ribbon inside the case. That's for all, for all the bassoon and oboe cases. Third, there's a significant wait time of a few weeks to a few months for these cases due to high demand because they're amazing. Florida Reads is a one-man operation and custom 3D printed cases can take a while to make, so remember to be patient when waiting for your order. I promise it's worth the wait. Let's take a look at all of the different cases that you can buy from Florida Reads. First up, we have the Custom 20 Reed Bassoon Case. This case, as it's titled, can carry up to 20 different bassoon reeds. This case design is also used for the 5 and 10 reed cases if you want a thinner, smaller option. I wanted to feature this case first because I'd like to show you the difference between this case, made recently, and my case, which I ordered about two years ago. This is my case, made for 10 bassoon reeds and 5 contra reeds. I wanted both because it's super convenient to be able to keep all my reeds in one place, and it still fits in the front pocket of my bassoon case. As you can see, both cases have the interlaced plastic hinges. I've had many wooden cases over the years that were very beautiful, but they all cracked on me over time. I can see myself keeping these Florida Reeds cases forever. They're super durable. Another upgrade to point out between my older case and this new design is the reed holding ribbon itself. In my older case, it's quite hard to push the reeds between the ribbons. And I have some fear of my reed corners hitting each other and getting damaged. I also worry about the farthest reed to the edge of the case. I rarely use these slots because I worry about the reed hitting the edge of the case. Like that. In the new design, Devin has obviously taken the customer feedback seriously and made some upgrades. You'll, you can see when I try putting a reed in this case that the ribbons allow, it's a lot, it's a lot easier. It's the, the spaces between the ribbons are much bigger. The ribbons are a little bit easier to move. It's still secure. And at the far edge of the case, you can see there's a lot more room to allow the reed for safe placement of a reed so it doesn't hit the edge of the case. I absolutely love these upgrades. <laughs> they make this case so much more user friendly while maintaining that high expectation of keeping my reed safe. If I shake my case upside down, those reeds are not moving. They're not going anywhere. Another feature I want to point out that you'll see on all of these cases is the super strong magnets used to close these cases right up here. I don't usually change my reed in the middle of the performance, but if you do, it might be a good idea to keep this case open while you play since these magnets make some loud snap noises to close. I'll try and do it softly. <laughs> it still makes a kind of a big noise. Ah, there we go. <laughs> it's not really a downside of the case because I've never had reeds get damaged or fall out because my case opened on accident. These magnets are definitely going to keep your reeds safe. So the noise doesn't really bother me as much. Next up is the Contra Reed case. This case holds five Contra Reeds. If you keep your reeds in your Contra case, this is definitely the case for you. It'll have no problem fitting in the side storage area in a hard Contra case, and it's absolutely going to be safe and sturdy. And because of this, it'll help your Contra reads last longer. It looks just the same as the one that I got two years ago, but again, there's just a little bit more room. The design of the ribbon has changed a little bit so that you can get those Contra reads in really nicely, but they are, again, not going anywhere. Next, we have the Premium 20 Reed Bassoon Case. Compared with the custom 20 reed bassoon case, it's a bit thinner due to its metal hinge design inside of the case. The more fluid moving hinges and the smaller size are really the only difference between the cases. So if you're looking for something more compact, this is definitely the case for you. 
as you could see on the five contra read case as well this is also a premium case with those hinges and it's a little bit thinner than the regular case the newest cases in the florida reads collection are the oboe read case and the clarinets and saxophone read case these are both brand new designs that seriously intrigue me instead of opening up like a clam like most cases do these cases slide out of the cover like an ink cartridge in a printer they come with the usual ventilation right on the end there and on the top up here 3d printing colors different color you can get any colors on these cases and strong magnets just like the bassoon read cases but the different design makes these have like super easy access to your reads the oboe reed case will also fit english horn reeds with a total of six reeds and the clarinet case is made to fit b flat clarinet reeds as well as alto saxophone reeds with a total of six reeds as well the oboe reed case has a reed ribbon similar to the bassoon reed cases while the clarinet case has those pressure holders like most single reed cases what I love about the clarinet case is not only the cool design, but also that the fact that the slots are actually numbered for you. So you can remember which read you're using. As you can see, I usually write numbers on my reads to remember which one I'm actually using. So uh, this was a feature that was really appreciated. <laughs> on the back, we go four, five, six. That's wonderful. My only issue with these new cases are that the oboe case places the reeds quite close together. So they're just a little bit hard to get out of the case. Just because my thing, <laughs> I mean, maybe my fingers are just really big, but that's a little bit difficult for me. And with the clarinet reed case, sometimes if you drop the case, the reeds dislodge inside if they're not in there really well. So when you take the cartridge out, the, the reed sometimes will like fall out of the case. So just make sure when you're using this case to open it with the top up so that you make sure that your reeds don't fall out on you. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> yeah, that happened. The design is made so that you can secure single reeds effectively and wiggle them left to right to get them out. So you can kind of put them in there kind of more firmly and then wiggle them to get them out basically. So keep that in mind if you want to check out this case yourself. I'm absolutely thrilled with the size of this case. Um, it's super compact and super light. My one request would be for a single reed case that fits all sizes of reeds, from E-flat clarinet to baritone saxophone and B-flat contrabass clarinet, because the only reeds you can fit in this case are going to be B-flat clarinet, maybe E-flat clarinet, soprano saxophone, alto saxophone. That would really make this case a no-brainer. As a doubler, I'm always looking for solutions for multiple types of reads, and I really, really hope they develop, that Devin develops something eventually that will be um, useful for all kinds of clarinets and saxophones. Well, there you have it. Florida Reads bassoon, oboe, and clarinet saxophone cases on full display. I hope you enjoyed hearing about these beautiful cases and that you consider buying one for yourself. Thanks for watching, and happy reading! <laughs>